Are you a woodworker like me that did a bad thing and left your table saw out in the rain? Well, today we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you a little tips and tricks and just make it brand new again. First off, put this away. Don't grab an orbital sander. You want, when you sand these things, you want your lines to go all in order. In the same direction that you use your table saw. Orbital sanders create friction on the, going against the grain on the cast irons. So we're just going to start with some 220 sandpaper and get after it. So at this point I'm pretty happy. This is pretty smooth. All the major rust issues are gone, but we're still left with all these stains. So some people would say, ah, that's okay. And I'm kind of one of those people. It doesn't hurt anything, but it's definitely not as pretty. So we're gonna get a new piece of sandpaper and then we're gonna tackle those stains a little bit harder. So in this portion, I'm gonna use a worn out 120 grit just off the sander because we're gonna tackle some of these. We're gonna have some deeper grooves that we're gonna need to get into. But I'm also gonna use some of our T9 so that we can have a little bit of lubrication and it'll penetrate down to those stains. So now that we've scuffed this up so much that our stains are pretty much going away, I'm gonna wipe all this off and then we're gonna hit it with some acetone so that everything's very dry and then we'll do our final sand. Sure to wipe your hands off too because you don't want your hands to be oily. Since we've got a little bit of rust here in these channels, I'm going to go ahead and take my drill with the wire wheel on it and just give it a pass. It's not that crucial and this rust isn't very bad in here. Maybe. Maybe not. Since my Milwaukee drill just took a dump on me, we're going to use the old Walmart Special as a backup. Be sure to always go the opposite direction as well. Now that we're looking pretty good, we're going to do one more final pass with 220, and then we're going to finish it off with just a little 320. There we have it. Is it perfect by any means? No, but it's far better than what it was. So this thing is super smooth now, looks really good, looks taken care of, and it's back to being useful. So in a final coat of T9 or WD-40, whatever you want to put on it. Some people use paste wax. I don't really like that stuff, but I like to just reapply and make sure that table saw looks good. So. This is how you can do it with some elbow grease. Don't use that orbital sander and don't use one of those vibrating ones either. Just do it by hand. It'll come out much better. Here we go. We're looking pretty dang good now. Be sure to like and subscribe and watch the next video where I replace this router table.